welcome back to The Tune Project. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to play a classic old tune called Squirrel Hunters. Now by the end of this tutorial, if you're interested in seeing the sheet music for this one, I accept sheet music requests on my website, which I always link in the description box of all my videos, so feel free to contact me over there if you're interested. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps my channel out. And if you're not already subscribed to The Tune Project, I invite you to click that red subscribe button below to join our little community and also click the notification bell so that you don't miss an upcoming video. All right, so to start off with this one, we are on the E string starting with an open E. So here's the first little part of that. All right, by the way, if you catch the slurs that I'm adding in here, feel free to add them in. But if you're only able to get the notes, that's fine too. You can always come back and add the slurs in. But let's go ahead and move on to our next section, which starts on a B, first finger on the A string. <laughs> Okay, that one was a little bit longer, but if you notice, we did have some repetition in there. We had a little scale walking up that one, two, three, B, C sharp, D, that happened a couple of times with different rhythms. So if you can catch patterns like that throughout here, if you can use your ear and figure out those little patterns, that'll really help you along the way. Now for this third phrase, we go back to exactly what we played in the very beginning, starting on open E. Okay, and maybe you caught the slurs that time after learning the notes. Now we're gonna come back to our B natural for our last phrase of this A part. Okay, so I like to throw in a fourth finger unison A as a little double stop action for that last note. If you feel comfortable doing that, you're welcome to. But if not, then you can just play a regular old open A for that last note. All right, so that is the end of the A section. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back and play all of what we just learned. If you're up to it and wanna play along with me, then feel free to join. One, two, three. Four. swiftly along to the B section, we are again starting on an open E. We have a different series of notes, a little new material here. So listen for this first phrase. <laughs> Okay, so a little back and forth action between the E string and A string, ending on a low second finger, our G natural. And if you noticed, we had the same exact bow pattern as far as the slurs, if you were able to get that far. But we'll come back to this a little later in the B section. Now we hop all the way down to the D string for an open D, and we have a little scale walking up the D string for this one. <laughs> So hopefully you recognized some of those notes because we actually saw a lot of that in the A part. So hopefully you're able to remember what you did for that first section. Now, just like I said, we're coming back to the first phrase that we played in the beginning of the B section, starting on open E. <laughs> okay, again, ending on that G natural. We again hop down to open D for that little walk up. And then again, I like to end on that unison A with the fourth finger. All right, so that is the whole tune. 
What I'm gonna do now is go back and play the B section all the way through slowly. If you know it, if you feel like you have it, play along with me. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Squirrel Hunters, you guys, I hope you enjoyed learning that tune. That's one of my personal favorites. And also let me know if you enjoyed this format, the style of today's tutorial. I did the same thing in my Road to Columbus tutorial where I played the A part slowly and then the B part slowly after we learned each of those sections. Let me know if that's helpful or if it doesn't really matter either way. I would love to know either way. So leave your feedback down in the comment section below and I will see you in my next video. Happy practicing. If you'd like to further your support of The Tune Project, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash The Tune Project for information on that. And if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on Amazon, be sure to head over to The Tune Project website, which I linked in the description box of all of my videos. Click my Amazon banner and whatever you purchase, a small percentage of that will go toward The Tune Project. This just keeps The Tune Project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all.